temperature, pulse, respirations, and blood pressure form a baseline assessment necessary for evaluating a client's condition. To complete this exercise, you will need a lab partner, an electronic oral thermometer, a tympanic thermometer, disposable probe covers, a watch with a second hand, a blood pressure cuff, and a stethoscope. One way to obtain a client's temperature is by using an electronic oral thermometer. First, insert a new disposable cover onto the probe. Then, place it under the client's tongue. Ask them to hold it in place using their lips. Press the button to begin the scan. Then, remove the probe once the alarm sounds. Discard the cover and record the temperature. Another way to obtain a client's temperature is with a tympanic thermometer. First, position the client so that the probe can be safely inserted into the ear. Next, insert a new disposable cover onto the probe. Gently pull back on the ear. Insert the probe into the canal and press the scan button. Remove the probe when the alarm sounds. Discard the probe cover into the trash and record the temperature. A normal temperature is 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit or 37 degrees Celsius. To obtain the pulse of a client, locate the artery on the wrist using the pads of the middle three fingers. Count the pulse for 30 seconds, then multiply by 2. The result will be the radial pulse rate. A normal adult pulse is between 60 to 100 beats per minute. Be sure to note the pattern of beats as either irregular or regular. To obtain a client's respiratory rate, place one hand on the client's chest or back and count the number of respirations for 30 seconds. Multiply this number by 2 and you will have the client's respiratory rate. Be sure to note any abnormal sounds associated with breathing and if breathing is labored. The normal respiratory rate is 12 to 20 per minute in adults, 20 to 25 per minute in young children, and up to 40 per minute in infants. To obtain a client's blood pressure, choose an appropriate sized cuff. Palpate the radial pulses simultaneously on both arms and choose the stronger pulse rate. Wrap the deflated cuff along the upper part of the client's arm. Make sure that the arm is slightly flexed and at heart level. Locate and palpate the brachial artery before inflating the cuff. Close the valve and inflate the cuff while palpating the radial artery. Inflate to a pressure of 30 units above the level at which radial pulsations are no longer felt. Note this level and deflate. Next, place the bell or diaphragm of the stethoscope over the brachial artery and inflate to a pressure of 30 units above the level at which the radial pulsations are no longer felt. Slowly deflate the cuff and observe the gauge. Listen for the first carotid sound. This is the systolic pressure. Then listen for the last carotid sound. This is the diastolic pressure. Deflate the cuff completely, remove the cuff, and report the client's blood pressure. A normal blood pressure reading is 120 over 80. Hypotension is a systolic pressure of 90 to 100, and hypertension is a systolic pressure above 140, or a diastolic pressure over 90.